Father God, we honor, thank, and bless you for your goodness and for your grace. Yes. For your mercy endures forever. Yes. We pray that you will be the instrument to bring in the anointing and the glory of God. Yes. Lord, speak through your word yes. as we walk through and in your will. Yes. You're standing at the door knocking. Help us to open up to you. In Jesus' name is our prayer. Thank God. Amen. I would like first of all to wish all of our viewing audience a Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. And to all our viewing audience we are offering through the month of December 2017 through January 2018 as a gift to you. We are giving our CDs and DVDs to you free of charge. Call our church office 901-942-0054. And request the video you desire. Leave your mailing address and phone number. And we will mail it out to you free of charge. As a gift to the viewing audience. The Lord bless you. Today I'm going to tackle a subject. That many of our pastors will not touch. They jump over St. Matthew's 23. They will preach 22. And they will preach 24. But they continue to jump over and over and over again. We are going to talk today concerning the hypocrite. And I hope that a reader will go there to read with me. And some of you already are looking at me long-faced. Because I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about you. You can get sinners to come to the altar and confess their fault. They will tell you of their sins and their errors. But I've never seen or heard of a hypocrite coming to the altar right. or to the mourner's bench confessing to be a hypocrite. I've heard a few deathbed confessions, but never a confession of guilt from the hypocrite. You know, the hypocrite feels that he or she can talk their way out of every or any situation. Yes. That's the reason why the Lord said in the judgment, he said every tongue that have rose up against thee, yes. he said, I'm going to condemn it. The hypocrite. I wonder why the subject is not such a winning subject. I wonder why everything is talked about. But in the judgment, the Lord is going to address and judge the hypocrite. Now a lot of us feel that you know, the hypocrite only operates in the church. And I've heard people often, 
I don't want to go down to that church. Uh, it's nothing there but a bunch of hypocrites. Mm -hmm. But the reason why one can call another a hypocrite yes. is because they themselves are a hypocrite. Yes. Are you listening? Oh, yes. You can have hypocrites in the church. Hypocrites are in your business. Thank you. They are there in your family. Yes. Sometimes hypocrites are sleeping in the same bed with you. You can have a friend and your friend can be a hypocrite. Yes. Your spouse, children can be a hypocrite. Yes. You that have your Bible. If you'll turn to St. Matthew's 23, and we'll read as such. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples. Oh, praise God. He did not just only speak to the multitude, but he also talked to the church folks. He talked to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sat in Moses' seat. All therefore, whosoever they be it, But all their works they do for to be seen of men. They make abroad their palaces and enlarge their borders of their garments and love the upper rooms at feasts and the chief seat in the synagogue and greetings in the marketplace and to be called of men rabbi, rabbi. But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. But he that is greater among you shall be your servant. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. You can stop there and we will go into the warnings. I don't know why we fight our Lord's and his word. What I want each one of you to know, don't make a mistake. Whatever God call you, that's who you are. I don't care how the preacher may try to enlighten you, regardless of what you feel or what you think. Regardless of what your best friend may say, mm -hmm. people may make you feel good, but God's opinion of you is true. Oh, yeah. Many of us mess up because we got to be in love with who you are and you got to be in love with what you do. Within the church, many times we are wondering why are we fumbling, and you may be seated. Why are we going through? Why does it seem that we are missing here and we are missing there? Yes. You got to really love what you do. If you want your life to be smooth, to be uncrowded, you got to stop being a hypocrite. Yes. I've never understood any way why a person would come to church, waste a lot of time going through the motion, having a form of godliness, denying the power, 
coming consistently to the house of God. Reaching, crying, praying, reading, singing. And going out living a defeated life. I don't understand. Many of the reasons why is because we are hypocritical in our living. Satan and his demons mission is to keep us divided in our little own groups. John 3.16 said God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish yes. but shall have everlasting life. We like to quote that but we miss an important point. Yes. God so loved so love. the world. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Not your little group. Ah. Not your little denomination. Thank you, Jesus. Not your little family. God loved the world and he gave Jesus to die for the world. Jesus died for the world. He did not die for a denomination. He did not die for a certain group. He died for the world. And Jesus also commissioned his disciples. He said, go into all the world mm -hmm. and preach the gospel. Yes, sir. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Yes, sir. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Now, if you will take up the reading here, we can go through and walk through the word. Again, Satan's job is to keep people divided. Yes. But God sent the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost unites the believer. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In the book of Daniel 12 and 7, it lets us know that Satan has a plan. Yes. It said, when he shall accomplish to scatter the power of the holy people, mm -hmm. all these things shall be finished. Yes. Mm -hmm. Satan wants to scatter the people. He don't want the people to come together. He don't want the churches. He don't want the races. He don't want family members to come together. The wars that are being fought in the countries today are fought by family members. They are fought by brothers. Brother against a uh -huh, brother. Hello. It's family members fighting over land, fighting property, fighting over inheritance. Hello, somebody. But Satan wants to keep God's people divided. And beware. You can be sitting right there in your body. Thank you, Ten or fifteen things flowing in your mind. Yes, sir. Yes. You try. You don't know whether you're being pulled to the left or being pulled to the right. Yes, sir. Satan will send people, praise God, to take and pull you every which way. Yes. But we find here that there are teachers. Yes. Hello. Yes, yes. Self-righteous groups. Yes, sir. Self-righteous oh, men. Self-righteous members. Of our families. Yeah. Hello somebody. Yeah. In other words. What keep us uh, 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 apart. Hallelujah. We got some kind of notion. Praise God. That we are right all the time. Yeah. We got a notion. Praise God. That you are never wrong. Mm -hmm. That you are always right. Yeah. Then spake Jesus to, his, to the multitude. And to his disciples. Yes. The multitude were scribes. Mm -hmm. Pharisees. Yes. Hello, y'all. Yes. Are you listening? Oh, yes. oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And their purpose, amen, was to get their point over. Mm -hmm. Is that your purpose today? Yes. To get through your purpose? Our purpose is no longer Christ. We, uh, uh, we have our own agenda. Uh -huh. We have our own private matters. Oh, yeah. Thank you Lord. We have things that we hide from one another yeah. and we're wondering why when we come to church and go into families meetings yeah. and special holidays why there is not peace and unity yeah. because somebody came in 
I don't care if you don't help me. You came with your private agenda. That's the reason why the Holy Ghost can't give a full breakthrough in service today. Because you got your private agenda. Hallelujah. You did not walk in according to schedule. You walked in in your own schedule. While the word of the Lord is being preached, instead of you being in chapter 23, you trying to find some information in chapter 24. Hello, somebody. Satan is always trying to find a way to scatter the power. Uh -huh. The pastor is giving instructions but you have your own way of doing things and you say the spirit of the Lord is leading you I want you to know that the spirit of the Lord does not work against the kingdom hello somebody uh, I, I think that the Lord really injected this in my spirit when I had a conversation inviting and welcoming people to church and I've heard it for many, many years. I heard, heard, have, have, have had aunties and uncles. They will tell you, well, uh, my Jesus is at home. Well, I look at Jesus uh, on television. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Where well, God is in my heart. Well, the Bible say, fail not to assemble yourself. Yeah. Amen. You got to come together in fellowship with other believers. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. You got to get up and you got to press your way. Yeah. And what we got to realize that God and his word and the Holy Ghost is not here to fulfill your agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Hello somebody. The word of God is here to support God. The Holy Ghost is here to support the kingdom of God. God is not of any respect the person and he's not here for any private matter. So Jesus not only addressed because there, there was a lot of evil people around Jesus and they were trying to trap him. Ask him questions. They would sit in the group and they would observe him. Yes, Lord. He's preaching one sermon and they are in the law book observing another chapter. Yes. Uh, it's time to sing, hello somebody, yes, and somebody decide, well, I want to pray. Yes. It's time to pray and somebody, you know, you, you start reaching in the purse, uh, 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 looking at the cell phone, uh, 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 picking up the, the pad, praise God. In other words, God seemingly cannot get us united. Now these scribes and Pharisees, they sit in Moses' seat. Yes. Say what you want. 98% of the churches and pastors are sitting in the seat of some man, hello, that was once led by God, but that man is dead, and the Spirit of the Lord desired to bring some new things, and you still sitting in the seat of a dead leader. Hello, somebody. Uh, I see no one going to read from me, but I, I'm just going to let the Holy Ghost, praise God, do what he want to do. Thank you, Lord. And then there are others, praise the Lord. Thank you, God. And they are pastors and they are leaders. And, and I don't understand. If Jesus is our Savior, he died for the world. He's the one to be lifted and to be exalted. Why are you calling people my father? He said you don't have but one father. And that father is in heaven. You don't have what but one master. And that master is Jesus. And we see where all of these men, praise God, ah, called the pastors my chief apostle. My high reverend, my, my, my this and my that. The, the church belongs to Jesus Christ. Yes, Hello, somebody. Yes. And we came here to lift up the name Jesus, uh -huh. to exalt Jesus, to lift him up. He is our healer. He's our savior. He is our deliverer. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. But they sit in the seat of custom. Yes. 
And they would not allow the people to break through to God. Yes. Because each time the people tried to move forward, they would bring up some kind of law. Mm -hmm. huh? yes, they would bring up some kind of principle. Yes. Hello, somebody. Yes. They would hold the church up, praise the Lord, mm -hmm. instead of moving forward with the Holy Ghost. Yes. They sit there and they would exalt themselves. Mm -hmm. And they love to be called pastor. Uh -huh. Pastor. They love to be called father. Mm -hmm. Our father, he is our father. He is our chief apostle. Yes. And that's why the Lord said to them, This is my beloved son, All right now. of whom I'm well pleased. Yes. Hear ye him. No. We don't understand that our pastors can get off. The missionary, the church mother. Yes. We don't realize, praise God, that the pastor's wife yes. and all is human flesh. Yes. But he says, men are led by the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. So, so Jesus began to give a warning. He said, but woe. He said, I'm warning you. He said, woe. You religious leaders, you teachers. Blind. Uh, you blind. Thank you, Lord. See, it's amazing that you can be alive. You can be seeing, but you're still blind. It's amazing in St. Luke 16, the prodigal uh, son's father. Praise the Lord. He said, my son was dead. Isn't it amazing how you can be walking? You can be living. Hello, you can be uh, 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 using your goods in a foreign land. You can have friends and associates. But when he came to his father's house, the father said he's, he was lost. But now he's found. Huh? He was blind. But now he see. Yes. He was dead. Yes, yes, yes. Now he's alive. Yes, sir. It's amazing how you can be functioning as a human being. Yes. Hello, somebody. Oh. But still you are dead. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. So warn to you scribes. Who are they? Ye blind guys. Uh, the name? scribes, you know, they are... The teachers, they are the ones that like sitting in the class of study. You know, I study my Bible. I read my Bible. I spend time in my Bible. But we are using this Bible to trap others. We are using the Bible to condemn other people and other uh, 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 denominations. Yes, yes. The Bible says there is now no condemnation mm -hmm. to them that are in Christ. Yes, sir. He said what? But woe unto you scribes. You blind guides. You blind. Mm -hmm. Which say. They are guiding the people. But they are blind. Mm -hmm. Now the Sadducees were members of of the Jewish party they believe they did not believe in the resurrection they didn't believe in retribution in a future life mm -hmm. and the existence of angels mm -hmm. they didn't believe that oh, yeah. but they were of the Jewish uh, party yeah. now the Pharisees were members of the Jewish party also uh, how people are sitting in the same church in the same synagogue, mm -hmm. reading the same Bible, yes, and yes. still not agreeing. Yes. The Pharisees, uh, they believe in strict observance of rights yes. and the written laws and their oral traditions of laws. Mm -hmm. But the hypocrites, yes. uh, oh my, oh. just break it down. Mm -hmm. False teachers. Yes. Yes. False worshipers, yes. false observants of religion. Yes. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Warn to you, scribes, yes. Yes. Pharisees, Pharisee. 
and hypocrites. Well, I'm not a hypocrite. It is nothing. You are who God say you are. I don't care how you try to fight it. Let me say it again. I don't care who told you you okay. Say it now. I don't care who told you you were right and you're sitting in the seat of custom, you, 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 you're on the mother's board and, uh, 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 and you're the chief clerk and uh, uh, you're the oldest one in the church and you've been here like Methuselah. Whoever God say and whatever God say, uh -huh. fight it if you desire. Say it now. But that's who you are. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Huh? But I believe. He said, what if some don't believe? It does not make the word of God effect. We have come into the house of God, which is a house of prayer. And we've let our belief change the order of God. Hello, somebody. Amen. We feel now we can do what we want to do. We can say what we want to say. We can come when we want to come. And we don't even allow that in our own houses. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we will bring that to the house of God. Yes. The Lord said, you hypocrites. For you shut up the kingdom of heaven. He said, what you do. Yes. Huh? You shut God off from people. Yes, sir. That's right. Well, you the way you're living your life, people don't even want Christ. Amen. Thank you. When they see your conduct, your order, when they see your family, yes. when they see what you're uh, experiencing, when they hear you open your mouth, they do not want God. Thank you. You're asking what's wrong with the world. He said, you teachers, you have shut God off. Some of you mothers and fathers, you have shut God off from your children. When they see your conduct, they say, we no longer want Christ. Hello, somebody. When we see what you do privately, hello, somebody. We hear what you say publicly, but we are watching you privately. Thank you, Lord. You are Jekyll and a Mr. Hyde. Oh